I'm going to discuss for you next uh, the concept of quadruped foot, which was something off topic that we talked about at DNS, but I, I think it's very important. Um, I'll use my hand as an example to describe it. So if we think about doing push-ups or anything closed chain with the hands open, we always coach it with the fingers abducted as much as possible um, so you can get greater surface area and again drive more of that external rotation torque um, and, and better support for that matter. Um, if we talk and apply the same concepts to the foot, for example, um, <clears throat> normally you hear about uh, the short foot posturing that's uh, been coined by Vladimir Yanda, which if I think about the way I apply that, if this was my metatarsals, my metatarsals are abducted and I am creating an, an arch support with the foot intrinsic. So it looks like that or that, okay? I am be able to get better support if I am able to abduct my metatarsals and then try to draw in an arch. So I'll show you what that looks like on the foot. Um, so if we zoom down into my foot, <clears throat> so normally with the short foot posture or tripod foot, uh, the cue that I use is lifting the toes up and then thinking about scrunching this part of my foot together. So off maybe it's better to show you on that side like that and then trying to perform single limb support. Okay, When I do that I'm supporting myself on the first and fifth uh, met heads and then the heel. Okay, With quadruped we're thinking more abducting or splaying the toes which allows me to support on both sides of the calcaneus because I am spreading the foot apart. So I do here, abduct the toes as best as I can, which I cannot do very well. There, then I think about pulling the arch in and then working towards some sort of single leg activity.